Hi there Adventure Seekers. Today we're going to be looking at some sun protection products from SunGuard. Now, why SunGuard and not some of these other manufacturers out there that do what a lot of people may think are the exact same thing? Well, because they're not the exact same thing. And here's a few reasons that differentiate SunGuard from everybody else. First is there are no hassle return policy. You don't like a product you buy, you return it, you get your money back. No hassle, no questions asked. Second, they believe in their products. So many companies today really don't believe in their products. You can tell that by the warranties that they offer for their products. Now with SunGuard, they offer a 12 year warranty. 12 years. That's probably 10 times longer than a lot of people even have their RVs. So a 12 year warranty is for a lot of people is gonna cover the life of their whole RV. So why do they offer a 12 year warranty when their competitors don't even hardly offer a five-year warranty or a six-year warranty simply because they have that good of quality in their products. Now, most companies who do sunshade, especially the ones you can see through, the way they make those holes that you can see through is by a stamping process. They take a sheet of material, machine stamp the holes into it. And what that does is it makes that material very susceptible to rips and tears. It's not very strong. Now with SunGuard, the holes are actually woven and built into the process. So that woven fabric material makes it strong and durable. And what do I mean by that? Well, this right here is one of the products we're looking at today. This is their windshield wiper saver. I'm gonna hold this up to the camera so you can take a look at it and check it out. You can actually see me through here. A little opaque, but you can see me. This is their 94% UV protection material. They also offer 85%. And if you just look at this, it's quality stitching all the way throughout. Very durable. I mean, if I, I try to rip it, I can't. I try to stick my finger through it, I can't. So we're gonna go outside in a little while and we're gonna show you how these things actually work on your windshield wipers. So we're gonna set this aside for now. The next product we're gonna look at is this guy right here. And no, it's not a funky hat. I guess it could be, but this is a side view mirror protector. Again, this material, very thick, breathable, just like with the windshield wiper cover. And the breathable is important, especially if you get you know, water and moisture up in into the different crevices of your mirror. This will help keep bad things from happening like mold and, and other funguses from growing in there. It does, it does breathe. Now there's two snaps on each end. Once you put this on, snap it. There you go, snap in place. And this won't go anywhere. The next product we're gonna look at is the interior sunshade. The reason we chose the interior windshield cover versus exterior, because they do make an exterior windshield and front side window covers, is mainly because of my mobility issues. I'm not able to really climb up on a ladder to install these items. And with the interior one, it offers us a, a great level of protection and it's a lot easier to install for me. So they, they do offer the exterior ones. Highly recommend looking into those made out of the same durable material with the 12 year warranty. Comes in many different colors as well. So you go to their website, the link is in the description below to that and they will tell you all the colors you options you have the uv protection levels you, you can choose from all that good stuff right there fast shipping to your location as well so i highly recommend that you check them out but before we do that why don't we just go ahead and install this windshield cover and then see what it looks like from the inside and from the outside i'm not going to make sure the windshield's perfectly clean to hold the suction cups up right now but once i get it done that's going to be the next step is clean the area where the suction cups go to make sure it stays permanently so let's go work or at least semi-permanently the trick is you want to get this as high up as possible and in the corner for the first one And we just keep moving around. Again, you want to make sure this is as, as close to the top as possible. 
all the way down. Okay, so as you can see here, I do have some extra material here at the bottom. That's how it'll fold. So I've got two choices here. I can either cut this, like I said earlier, and add the suction cups to get the perfect fit, which is for the best um, protection, or I can leave it like this. Okay, so that's panel one installed. And I can already tell you that panel two, I'm gonna have to cut on the bottom and on the side because I've already gone past the halfway point here of the windshield. So not a big deal. This is gonna be pretty easy to install. So the hard part of doing any of these installs is just getting that final fit work in there. We're going to trim the bottom here and we'll be done. Now again, when you're trimming the bottom, be careful because if you cut it too short, you're out of luck. So just take your time, cut, get it close, trim again. No rush. So just make sure you get a nice job done. I'm gonna tell you right now, I like this a lot better than the um, built-in sunshade because I can see how this a lot better. So I've got a dry erase marker because I didn't want to really use a permanent marker. And I'm going to mark where I need to cut. So let's go see how that process looks. First thing I got to do is get Froggy out of the way. Now Froggy doesn't want to move, so Froggy's staying, but I'll move the dash can. And we'll just push this down. And I, like I said, I'm going to cut this a little long intentionally. But I'm going to push it into this into the groove here and then I can just draw a line so I'll know exactly where to cut and because I do have at least in for me the dash goes down about that far so about half an inch so even if I cut it a little bit too long it'll still be able to get tucked in there and I just need to make sure that I leave room for the suction cups to be able to be about above the dash I'm just drawing in this line here. So I got the line, and I'm actually going to cut below that line again, just to be on the safe side. So let's do some cutting. I'm not even going to take it off to do the cutting. We're just going to cut. So let's do some cuts. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because this will not even be seen from the inside or the outside. And since I used a dry erase marker, I will be able to wipe that off pretty easily. Have a nice, clean install. So there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna use the handy dandy dry erase marker. And I'm gonna mark the spots where I wanna put the holes for my suction cups. So let's do that. Put them here, put one there, there and there so it's not really important to have a ton of suction cups here on the bottom because you're just kind of holding it in place but you do definitely at least want to have one in the corner and one or two in the middle somewhere so let's poke some holes so the best thing to do this with is a leather punch tool i don't have one but i do have a leather man or leatherman so we're going to use the leatherman to punch the hole so since I don't have the correct tool for the job, I need to be really careful that I don't make the hole too big. If I make the hole too big, then it's gonna be useless. So let's do this carefully. And the hole doesn't need to be very big, so. One suction cup done. We'll do one more here on the other end. It just snaps right in. So we've got two down, so that's going to be good enough for right now. And that's it with those two done. It's just that simple to get it done. So the kit comes with 10 suction cups. So you have two panels, so you basically have five suction cups per panel to deal with. So I'd recommend putting, of those five, especially in your big panels, one or two on the sides, maybe even in the middle as well, and I definitely along two at least two along the bottom that way you get a good firm uh, coverage because that's the key cover every point so now let's go take a look at our windshield wipers and our side view mirror cover all right so now we're outside so we're going to take a quick look to see the difference between looking through 
the windshield with the sun guard sunshade on one side and just the windshield see what you can see inside and again I'm standing about three feet from the front so hopefully most people walking by won't be this close to your RV but in case they are here's what you can see so here's the sun guard and we'll just swing over and there's just through the regular windshield we're going to go ahead and install our covers on the mirrors now I'm going to do this or at least attempt to do this without a ladder which is probably not going to work out very well so I'm going to, have to go get a step stool but we'll give it a shot always make sure that your mirrors are clean get the bugs off and everything else before you put this on that was a pretty snug fit getting it on there already closing these snaps yeah that's not gonna go anywhere all right mirror number two so now we got that installed super quick and easy keeping those protected now the other most important thing especially for those in warmer climates like we like to try to stay into is keeping the windshield wiper blades um, safe and from being getting cracked from the sun so now let's go install our wiper covers all right so now we're going to put these on i have not attempted this at all so what you're going to see is my first attempt at installing these windshield wiper protectors i haven't looked at any instructions no videos so hopefully this video will help you okay there's a hole here and there's another one here so I'm guessing guessing it'll go like that what do you think 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 that that's why it works I think so let's give it a shot So I just learned there's Velcro on here to make this a lot easier and more secure. See, like I said, I hadn't tried it before, but there you go. And now it's installed. So you may be asking yourself, what was that Velcro I was talking about? Well, I wish I'd have known that earlier. But one side is Velcroed actually all the way. So this is even easier if you, it was like our, wiper arms are very flexible so I was able to bend it to put it in there no big deal if you don't have the flexible arms you can just do it the smart way which is what I'll do on the second one and something you'll very rarely see me do which is doing things the smart way so let's do this oh that was a lot easier wasn't it There, now they're both installed. Gonna be well protected. We got our mirrors covers. And as you can see, all this really only took a few minutes. Maybe two if I wasn't talking and filming. So, highly recommend the SunGuard whole product line, really. I mean, they've got, like I said, the exterior one for the windshield. Also, for all your windows around, they have exterior coverings. Or the interior for the windshield the mirrors, wipers, and they come in a lot of colors too. So check them out at sunguard.com. I want to thank my friends there for um, giving us these to check out and test. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of these products, please feel free to leave a note in the comments below. And if I can't answer them myself, I'll reach out to SunGuard and we'll get an answer for you. So thanks so much for watching and make your next journey an epic adventure. Bye.